Hey, so today I am joined by Ms. Samuetta Nesbitt. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself, please? Well, I'm Samuetta Nesbitt, and I am a huge supporter of the Birmingham Public Library System, and especially the Avondale branch, because that's close to where I work. And so that's my usually my drop off and pick up point. Well, we appreciate your support. And so you're uh, representing United Way today. Would you like to talk about just a little bit about um, what y'all do over there and um, how you've been operating during COVID. So our main areas of focus are education, financial stability, and health. And we're mostly recognized for raising funds, but um, you have to understand the impact that you're giving gives every year to over 80 nonprofit organizations in a five county area. We're not just limited to Jefferson County. And independently, actually at our building, we have some great programs such as Meals on Wheels in Jefferson County, the Area Agency on Aging, that's our senior services for Jefferson County, our 211 Information and Referral Call Center, that's where you can call if you need help or you need to um, find a resource, you can call that number and get a referral. There are operators there who answer. Um, lots of financial counseling services and um, our priority veteran program, which helps homeless or near homeless veterans. So the Avondale community itself in our building is very rich in resources. Um, if I fail to mention anything, always go to our website at www.uwca.org and you can find out all about us. Yes, you're, uh, I learned quite a bit about United Way through your uh, website and uh, was really cool to uh, see that you've been around since 1923 and have, uh, you know, I think you start out with 31 different, it says agencies, are those programs? And then just kind oh, of surpassed. Are agencies, those are agencies like the American Red Cross. Oh, wow. Salvation Army have been with us. The uh, white, um, so there are a lot of agencies that have, were, some of them were even established before we organized. So um, yeah, 1923. Um, so what, what are you, uh, how are you operating during like our new normal during COVID and ha how have things changed? Have they changed at all? Um, well, the, the great thing is that our strategic plan called for us to start doing more things um, virtually. So we've all, we already had several fundraising campaigns with some of the larger businesses in Birmingham already set up online. And um, we also equipped ourselves to work from home in case of a disaster, in case of a tornado or flooding, and especially a snowstorm. So whenever those things presented themselves, we were ready to grab our laptops and go home and we were set up. So this was a challenge, but it, it could have been worse for us. We were ready. The building is right now closed, but we will conduct any services or any kind of help um, we can over the, over the internet. But, we just had a blood drive for the Red Cross um, this week, and we opened a small part of the building, had all the distancing and social distancing and the um, COVID recommendations in place, and we actually had a blood drive. We stayed apart. People came in from Avondale and surrounding community, and um, it, it was a success. So it can be done if you're careful. 
So in what ways are, um, is United Way helping the community uh, cope during COVID? Well, we immediately set up um, what's called community fund and started soliciting corporate and individual donations. What we knew before um, early on that our 80 agencies and organizations were going to be impacted. They were going to um, be asked to help at a greater rate and they weren't prepared financially. So um, we set up the, the uh, community crisis fund and we are currently taking, this, this will end in August. So if this airs after August, you'll have to check back on the status of that fund. But we are taking applications from United Way agencies and for the first time, non-United Way agencies to help them um, with their programming. Most of the money to organizations in the community have been for feeding programs because when, the, when people are laid off, they have to cut back and food is not where we want them to suffer. Um, we also have programs that are helping with housing. And of course, with, as with anything, there's some qualifications, but if someone can't pay their rent or you know, they're in danger of being homeless, there are operators who are there who will interview them and see if they, if they qualify for certain programs. Um, we're also giving grants to, um, again, agents trying to keep our United Way agencies on track and lessen the financial impact on them. So immediately uh, we stepped out and we didn't know it was going to last this long, but we are prepared to try to at least fill in the gap for a lot of organizations through August and September. And again, if you go to that website, you will see where you can apply for financial assistance. So I just wanted to ask you uh, a couple of personal questions, if that's okay. Like, um, how are you uh, doing personally? Uh, what, what brings you joy in life? And, and how are you making time for that? Uh, especially now with everything being a little extra stressful. Yeah, so my joy has always come from my faith, my friends and my family, and none of that's gone. Um, it's taken a different form. I, my friends and I are Zooming and, um, you know, I have a community that I can still go and see the same people at my grocery store and at my pharmacy and I can still wave at the lawn person. So I still have some human, safe human connections. Um, I miss my grandkids, but that's, I'll get to see them, we Zoom. And, and, uh, oh, for me, it's gardening. Um, I had a, I have a peach tree in my front yard. Oh, wow. And the neighbors stopped by and they would pick peaches and we would have converse, distance conversations. And um, there are still some needs in the community that personally I started on, such as working on census awareness, um, and, and I can still do that from home and still post in my social media to remind people to fill out the census. And then work from other organizations that I'm a part of. We get the word out. So that's something to keep, keep busy and um, is very rewarding. And not to forget voter registration. No idea how many 17 year olds are going to turn 18 soon. Absolutely. So, yeah. 
It's very important. Yeah, we um, we're not open to the public right now. We're just doing curbside. But anytime someone calls about registration, you know, we have the forms here because that's just something that's very, very important. Very important. So, you know, keeping making a contribution is my joy. Yeah. And occasional fruit and vegetable from the garden. Yeah, a peach tree. That's amazing. That yeah. sounds lovely. It's, it's old and it's um, mature and it bears a lot of fruit. So it's really the um, kids in the community, the parents in the community want to bring their kids by so they can <laughs> actually see where the fruit comes from because they don't have the, a, a lot of opportunities to do that. Uh, your love of the library. Um, are there any books or authors or even film or just art that has greatly impacted your life? And if that question is too broad, uh, would you like to share anything that you're reading currently? Um, so I don't know. The, the library has always been in the Birmingham branch part of my um, my resource community. I have even rented art from the library. Oh yeah. <laughs> and brought the um, art back to my office and I would hang it in my office until it expired and then I would go back and get some more art. And um, I've attended just dozens of events there. So the library is more than books and, and I hope a lot of people realize that and I take um, I go down for whatever programs you're offering the um, spoken word programs mm -hmm. are great and um, and of course the books I get from Avondale because it's so close I usually downtown is my social activity library. Okay, so I just would like to close out by asking in what ways can the community um, show their support for United Way? We have three calls to action. To give, to um, advocate, and to volunteer. So um, again, our website is the starting place for anyone who wants to find out more about us and what we do. And you will be surprised that when you go to our website, how you've already been impacted by United Way. Uh, United Way is not for poor people. It's not just for people who are have fallen on hard times. It is an organization that has um, strategically uplifted many in our community and made it a better community. So even if you have no um, social needs, your life, your quality of life is better because of United Way. Um, and we have an excellent volunteer website um, run by Hands on Birmingham. And Hands on Birmingham is our volunteer component at United Way. And when you go to our uwca.org, you click on the volunteer button and it'll take you right to their website. You can go there and sit there and just stroll through numerous volunteer opportunities. And you can see some that fit your passion and it tells you exactly when it's going to happen, um, what they need, how many people they need. And that website is actually an experience. Once you do it, you can go in and talk to other, find other people who were there with you. You can compare the experience, talk about it, share it with others. And um, it's, it's beginning to get to be a social place for, for volunteers. It's a volunteer hangout. <laughs> it's like you guys are doing, continuing to do a lot for the community and, and we do thank you for that. And um, it's just been an absolute honor to interview you and, and to spend time with you today. Okay. Thank you. You have a great day. Bye.